The end of October was so beautiful. The snow came and spread its white wings all over the land and lighted up the dark forests. The nights were really cold and a thin layer of ice started to grow on the lake. The winter was here and I couldn't be happier. But in November, everything melted away. The winter took a break and left us with a few weeks of rain and wind. Hello, my sweethearts. How are you doing today? Pretty windy today. And a bit rainy. I don't know what happened with the winter. <laughs> Hey Nanook! Hey! I'm playing hide and seek with Nanook. We always love to do that <laughs> when we're out on the walks. So far, November has been a month with a lot of work and new things going on. We are trying our best to settle down and find a good rhythm after we launched our webshop in September. We could never imagine how much work that would actually be. It's been a quite intense time in many ways, but thankfully we are now more people who can share the amount of work. 1200 is also. Morgan is around 60. 82 is now booked. No! What did you do? Oh no, I'm holding on to my gold chain. And now in November, we got another friend starting to work with us. His name is Adrian, and he lives in the village nearby. And he is actually the partner of Frida, the farmer that you might have seen in my earlier videos. Adrian is from England, but has been living here in Sweden for about eight years now. Use this one for video. This is video. I, I both use it for both. And you might have seen him before as well, since he was in one of my vlogs that I did three years ago as I was visiting the farm. So now in the beginning of November, on the rainiest day ever, Adrian started working here. <laughs> Are you sure you want this? There's no going back now. <laughs> 
So Adrian will be helping out with many different things. He has a lot of good qualities that will be very needed. And he has much experience with technology and building things. But his most prioritized work is helping out with the massive amounts of mail and customer service that we now have because of the webshop. He also builds beautiful wooden boxes for when I ship my paintings to customers that sometimes live on the other side of the world. Before, I used to ship paintings in a cardboard box, but that was too risky. These wooden boxes are so much better and will keep my paintings secure during their long journey. I think this box is gonna be more beautiful than the painting. Is it the front edge, this edge? Uh, yes, it is! Okay. Thank you, Adrian! No How did you know? How mistake. did you know? You are already Sorry. too good for this job. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> He's also very funny and makes us laugh all the time. We call my chicken side. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Adrian? Yes. Do you know who you look a lot like? Yes. I forgot his name. It's a very funny actor. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey? Yes. yes. I have Jim Carrey as my employee. Oh, right <laughs> so we are very thankful to have Adrian in our team now. And it's hard to take in that we got two new team members in only two months. <laughs> How did you all end up here? <laughs> there is so much work on the other side of having your own business that you never see from the outside. And for the past half year, it's been taking us so much time to handle everything ourselves. So I think the lesson for us this year was to realize that we don't always have to do everything ourselves. Even if it was a big step outside my comfort zone to employ more people, it has been absolutely necessary for us in order to have more time again. And really, that is the most valuable thing we have in life, our time. One of the best moments this month was when we were making a big fire last weekend. Even if it took us a couple of hours before the fire really started, it was just so nice to work with something outside all day. I think we really needed it. Now it's time to uh, burn another big pile of branches. This big, big pile. Oh, huh. My dad has collected this. <laughs> <laughs> My dad has collected this big pile of branches because uh, for two months now he has worked really hard with this area, uh, which is an area that is supposed to be a field, but during the last 30 years I guess it has just grown up with trees and, and yeah, it become, became like a jungle. Uh, so now he has restored the area again, so it looked like how we did back in the times since it's really wet outside and it's been raining for such a long time now it can take a while before the fire really get going but dad comes with this wow starting the fire was harder than we thought the pile of branches was too fresh and the two weeks of rain didn't really make it easier but we tried our best Men pappa, du börjar brinna! Pappa! Ja men, ja, men du fan! No! He just won't give up. Do you have anything you wanna add? No, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but my parents refused to give up. So, meanwhile, I did a little fire dance. And 
after a while, the fire finally started for real. Now my dad is gonna give us some whiskey. That's good after yes. some hard work yeah. with the fire. <laughs> we don't have any whiskey glasses, but we have this. That will do. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> It was such a wonderful ending on that day, just sitting by the fire and enjoying the moment. Sometimes the most simple things is what we need the most. I have also spent a lot of time in my beautiful little studio. As the winter begins, I always feel a lot of inspiration to paint. As you can see, we finally got the snow back again. I am so happy that the snow is here because, yeah, as you can see, everything just gets so beautiful. November can be such a dark month if there is no snow because now the, the days are getting shorter for each day and the snow just makes everything so much lighter and easier in a way. But also there's just something about the energy when the snow comes. When the winter comes, when you can feel the, the winter spirit, I, I just get so happy and I get so much energy. <laughs> this is like being in a fairy tale world. When the winter is like this, I feel like I could have winter for many years in a row. I was out walking with you one and Nanok last evening and we were walking on a road in the middle of the forest and you know there's no lights or street lights or anything and it was just so beautiful because the only light we could see was from the stars and the night sky here in the winter is breathtaking you have no idea if you have never been you know far away from a city you have never really seen the night sky i remember when i was young and I had never really seen the night sky, you know, far away from a city and I was shocked. I never knew that 
so many stars were actually visible when you are far away from light pollution. Unfortunately, I can't film it with the camera, but I can make a time lapse. And a time lapse is like a, uh, you put out the camera for maybe a few hours and it takes pictures uh, all the time. And then it put the pictures together, so it kind of is like a video or a little film clip. Now I'm just waiting for the ice because uh, I, I really want to record some new ice songs for you this winter. And the ice have started to grow on the lake now again. But it's very important how the ice grows in the winter. It can grow in so many different ways. I don't know if you say grow, but I hope you know what I mean when the ice is starting to grow and you know, um, if it comes a lot of snow. Uh, meanwhile, the ice is growing, the ice gets really weak. Also, the ice doesn't really sing so much when that happens. So to get the best ice, a strong ice, and the ice that makes really good you know, noises and sounds, then it should be no snow yet and really, really cold. A couple of really, really cold nights. So last year was a really good winter for the ice. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about with the ice sounds, then I will put a link uh, below in the description so you can check it out. I really, really want to make a new ice sound video because I really think it's amazing how the ice sounds different from each year depending on, yeah, depending on the weather. The first year I did it, it was very low sounds. Uh, it's, you could almost not really hear it if you didn't have really good, you know, headphones. Very, very low frequency. But last year it was like, wow, it was so high and strong. It would have been so cozy with a fire now to have a little fire here and maybe some hot chocolate or something. I'm gonna move you closer. <laughs> I thought before I end this video I was just gonna answer a few questions from my previous video. Okay, the first question. Uh, could you please try to capture the sounds of the scary forest again? And uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, it's from an earlier vlog where I talked about the, the forest behind our house because so many times now we have heard so many weird noises from that place and we don't really know where it comes from yet. So I have been talking about that I'm gonna put out my sound recorder to capture these sounds but it has been so much bad weather for a long time it's been windy and rainy so I haven't been able to but I'm really really gonna try to do that now I think it's a it's a good time to to record sounds now because it's really silent everywhere and right now there's there's no wind at all next question what kind of camera do you use and I get this question a lot <laughs> and I thought I would just answer and show you I have I have a, a Nikon Sata 6. Uh, I don't know how you say Sata in English. So I bought this camera in January this year. So I haven't had it for super long, but I'm very, very happy with it because um, it can film in 4K, but it can also film in 120 frames per second so it can make these beautiful slow motion scenes which I love so I mostly use this camera when yeah for all my normal film scenes that isn't vlogging you know all cinematic scenes or time lapses or yeah m most of of everything I film let's take the last question please tell us why you suddenly stopped talking and shut the video off while having a scared look on your face did you hear a scary sound outside? So this scene is from my previous video. Like one hour away from, from Steak and Jok. Uh, but... Mm. 
no, I think I was just uh, thinking about something else in the middle of a sentence. And it happens to me a lot, you know, when I record films. Uh, suddenly, maybe I lose track of what I was going to say, or I can't find the way to express myself in English, because sometimes I lose words and I have to check them up before I can continue again. And yeah, there's so many times where I have scenes like that, where I just stop talking or just yeah lose the track <laughs> of what i was gonna say so nothing scary happened i was just being weird so thank you so much for watching this vlog and uh, i will see you soon again and take care everyone Mwah! i love you <laughs> bye bye